Well, good morning, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on July 16th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another video from Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We're just going to have a look at the uh, satellite imagery over North America the last two days as we had some very convective energy moving throughout parts of Alberta and Saskatchewan. And now it is quick, quickly shifting east into Ontario, Manitoba, and then Quebec and Ontario, or uh, central Ontario. But you can see here, upper level low came from southwest Pacific there, came over the mountains later in the day. That's why we didn't see destructive convective energy but definitely watching these storms pop up all over the North America as things are heating up we got heat waves across North America we'll get into that here with the Pacific Disaster Center first we're going to show tropical storm Dana tropical depression Dana and now this is the typhoon that I had warned about last week that would be hitting and sure enough, it has formed into a tropical depression, moving straight north into Taiwan, the South China Sea, and then into Korea. So stay aware and prepared, eastern parts of Asia. Now we've seen a lot of volcanic activity recently as well. Very active earthquakes in this region. A lot of movement. This 6.2 yesterday in Papua New Guinea. That's the largest earthquake the last 24 hours. But definitely, you know, we're seeing... I'm, I'm getting more and more updates as to volcanoes that are erupting around the world. Across North America, extreme heat. South or northeastern seaboard as well, the Carolina states, Northern Ontario, Manitoba, and as well, the Central United States. So watch for convective energy as these storms roll across. Just looking at the latest updates for volcanoes, Central America. I want to thank everybody for tuning in to Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. I really appreciate all of your support and your loyalty. And if you guys want me to keep doing these videos, please get in the comment section and let me know. Because all of a sudden, these this last week or so, the views are down. And if nobody's liking the content, then please just speak up. That's all I can say. Speak up. Of course, we had Etna and also Stromboli this last little while that have been very active. Let's get to the earthquakes here. Last 24 hours for earthquakes. We'll zoom into North America as we've seen the earthquakes continue in Ridgecrest, California. This is now two weeks. And then earthquakes moving as far north as Carhartt, Washington, and Manhattan, Montana. Close to the Canadian border. 2.6 going off here in Oklahoma. And it looks like the earthquakes are back in the Dominican. Four point six here in Kajurkistan. And four point nine in Pagnag, China. 5.7 here, Indonesia, and a 5.2 yesterday, Laos, Indonesia, and 4.3 recorded yesterday as well. 4.6 in Japan, and that's today. And then this pretty deep earthquake, 532 kilometer depth, a 4.5 South Fiji Islands. Watch for a larger, shallower earthquake, most likely moving east 
on the Ring of Fire. I'm thinking Subduction Zone off the Cascadia fault line. It's the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. Deep earthquakes are starting to increase again. A lot of movement on the west side of the Ring of Fire. Equal and opposite reaction. Watch the subduction zone right here. Now let's get to earthquakes, or sorry, let's get to weather here. Brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Starting overlooking North America as downgraded tropical storm Barry is moving north northeast and diminishing. Low pressure system racing across northeastern United States, bringing thunderstorms, heavy rain to Ontario, and then later in Quebec. Pacific Ocean, large high pressure ridge, still not letting any moisture to the BC coastline. Overlooking Asia, tropical storm Adana is moving north into Taiwan. Overlooking Europe, cool down continues as low pressure systems coming from the north bring cool air and rain. Overlooking the Atlantic, again, strong high pressure ridge not allowing any Atlantic storms to form. Central and South America, watch for flooding conditions. Africa, it's still trying to produce so uh, something off of the coast. We gotta watch the Atlantic storms there. And then extreme heat across uh, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Australia, not much to talk about there. Zero weather, actually. And then back to North America. As the cool down has started in western parts, and the central heat is still being pumped in behind the low pressure heading east. So that's a major weather concern. And as well, so is Tropical Storm Dana. Heading into Taiwan and the South China Sea in the next 48 hours. Stay aware and prepared. Eastern Asia. Again, I want to thank everybody for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, posting my severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world. As we like to stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your morning dew. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family for the world.